Hey guys, Rowan23 here. Today I'm with, here with another Roblox tutorial. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I'm still kind of sick, but this is F more later in the day, so hopefully I sound more lively despite the sickness. Um, anyways, today is suggestion I have gotten at least twice. <clears throat> Sorry, today it's really rainy outside, um, so if you hear that, sorry, there might be some thunder. So basically it's a revamp on an old tutorial, and what these guys want is for us to make a GUI that can open and close our open and close door thing. So let's go ahead and jump into the studio with that. Hey guys, Rai123 here. Are you sick of having to click buttons open and close your doors? Well, with the new GUI by Rai123, you can now open and close your doors remotely from anywhere, even over here, even though I accidentally touched uh, Yeah, okay. Hi guys. This is, uh, so this is the GUIs um, that open and close the doors. Uh, I still sound sick. Um, I didn't post yesterday because I am sick. But uh, anyway, so let's, I'll do a, maybe let's talk later today. But right now, let's just get back into the tutorial. So let's quit this. And the first thing you're going to need is two GUIs like this. Sorry I sound all nasally. Like I said, still sick, which really sucks. But two GUIs, one open, one close. And it looks like, dang it, I'm still not in 1080p. Oh, well. And it looks like this. You don't have to name the screen GUI that. I just have other screen GUIs and I want to keep track. But anyways, so here's the close. Here's the open. We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> insert a script into the open. I already have a script in there, but we're just going to make another one so you guys can see how to do it. But anyways, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your other script <laughs> and... Which one is my other script? Oh, it's this one. And copy and paste the this thing because I don't want to type it out. There you go. Now, hit enter a couple times. And the first thing you're going to need is a variable. So what you're going to want is the variable that identifies your door. Since my door is in workspace, I'm going to say, oh, Oops, local D. Yeah, you guys are. Never mind. <laughs> local door is. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of HTML today. I have to think. Uh, game dot workspace dot door dot door. So if you come over here to my explore explorer, if we go to game workspace. You can see that I have door and door. Now, you guys are probably going to want to use this for things like tycoons and other things like that. And if you can't figure it out, um, then I can help you with that in a later video. You know what I mean? Like if you buy a house, you want to have only the owner have the GUI to open and close that door. Um, we'll actually... I'm actually thinking about doing a whole set of tycoon tutorials, so we'll cover it in there. But for right now, I just want to show you guys the basic process of how to do this. And if you guys can figure it out from this, that's wonderful. But anyways, so yes, now we have two lines of code. We have our door variable, which identifies the door, this door, workspace, dot door, dot door the door the part so then we are going to need a function and I put the cursor in the wrong spot insertion point that's the proper term yes place the insertion point directly in between the two yeah okay function what did I call it click did click did this is just another example that you can no, it's more like click it did that you can name your method or functions whatever you want and they'll still work as long as you do it right click it did is that the same yep okay so the first thing we're going to want to do is just make the door transparency 
equals one. Is this the open one? Hang on. Is this the open door one? Yes. So we're going to want to make it one or like 0.5 something that at least shows that we can go through it um, yeah and then you're just gonna say door dot can collide equals false yeah that's the open one okay then you are going to copy this open up the script that you are going to place in close and paste it into the close and you are just going to change the transparency to zero so that it is solid and you can't see through it and then you're going to change to can collide to true so that you can not walk through it and so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys um, working on a lot of them right now working on the morphs working on other stuff um, a few of them are really stumping me but that just means that you guys have great ideas and I'm really happy <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really happy with the ideas and suggestions that I'm getting, so keep them coming. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, yeah, I'll keep trying to do them for you guys. I know my schedule with these has been rather erratic. Um, getting sick, school starting. Sorry, I'm popping my knuckles. Getting sick and school starting back up has really hosed me over. Um, yeah, I have, like, homework to do. Uh, but anyways... So, <clears throat> um, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please subscribe for more future videos. Maybe one day, probably one day, most likely one day, very surely one day, I'll actually show you guys how to make this door look like a door, like one of those sliding ones, like so it'll slide this way or it'll slide up, whichever way we decide to make it slide. Um, but other than that, uh, where was I? Yep, subscribe. Leave a comment down below of any ideas and or suggestions. <coughs> oh gosh. <laughs> leave an idea down below of any ideas and or suggestions. I just said leave an idea of an idea. Hmm. Um, that you would like to see scripted or would like help with scripting. Um, <laughs> like for a tutorial doing all. Maybe. If it's a good idea, I'll do it. Um... And what's the last thing? Leave a like. Yep, I already I said that. So anyways, guys, um, yep, see ya. Bye.